Okay, you guys, it's Dust Girl. I'm back with one more video. So, I found this crochet thread, I think is what they call it. I got it at the thrift store and I paid 50 cents for it. And it's a nice, bright, vibrant green. I've had it for a little bit and I've never used crochet th thread. Mm -hmm. I finally decided I'm going to make something with my crochet thread and that's what I made. What was that? What was that? I made little shamrocks. Can you see that? Little shamrock. How cute. I left little tails on there. I'm going to find little safety pins, I think, um, and tie them on. Cute, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I made eight of them. I made, I wanted to make at least seven, but then I ended up making eight. So seven plus one. And because I have specific people I want to give them to. Um, this one here is a little, a little wonky. I think that was my second one that I did. And it's a little wonky. Nothing really wrong with it. Although I think I didn't do that leaf correctly. But, oh yeah, I didn't do that leaf correct or that one. I might... I might be able to undo this one and redo it. See, there was a reason why I did eight. But anyways, look at how cute. That was my first one, my very first one. So I'm gonna make one for my mother, my daughter, um, one of my sisters in the church. Actually, there's three sisters in the church I wanna make them for and See, one for me. Mine will be that wonky one, maybe. I'll have to redo that one. I think I'll, re I'll fix that one now. But the the um, pattern that I got, or that I used, not got, the pattern that I used was um, one from Crystal at Bago Day Crochet here on YouTube. There's a bunch. There's a lot of people who will share their patterns, which is really sweet and helpful. Um, I... Crystal is my go-to because she's she just shows it over and over again and, and her patterns are easy for me to follow. So um, go over there. See, maybe you guys want to wake make some. I used a teeny tiny hook. Oh no. Let me see if I guess this little bag was a makeup brush bag. I'm going to forget what brand. Oh, Eco Tools. I think you could find them like in Target. Maybe they have it. Maybe Walmart. I don't know. Um, because they're pretty popular. But I used to get mine at Sprouts, which was like a natural farmer's type grocery store. I don't have one near me. <clears throat> but it's a nice canvas. Where is it? Canvas little organizer, I guess, tool organizer, but I use it for crafts. And it's tiny. This one's a tiny one. This was one of my grandmother's, I'm pretty sure. I inherited all her crochet hooks. This is a 2.35 millimeter. Bates number one, it says, but you probably can't see that. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, if you trust me, that's what it says. That's what it says. Trust me. <laughs> All right, you guys. I think I'm going to, actually, I'm going to redo that one. So I'm going to keep this one out. I think I'm going to save the rest of this green. I don't know. I was going to make some more shamrocks and just have them on hand, but um, I think I'm going to save the rest for, I don't know, maybe the inside of a, or to do like a flower stem or something. 
these ones, I am going to put them inside little envelopes with cards and hand them out to the girls in my church. Give one to my daughter. You could even put like a little bobby pin, put in the hair, something like that, a little shamrock. But, you know, just to send some kindness and good luck. Ooh, I like it piled up. Look at that. Look at that. Fun. So fast. I, maybe 15 minutes to make each one. Maybe. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. I know I'm, I put a bunch out there for you guys to enjoy, but life is good, and I just want to share some goodness. So um, take care, you guys, and hopefully I will make more videos to entertain you later. Bye.